Ah, as you can probably tell, I'm a little bit sick, but uh, I want to go speak with Charles. Hello? Come in. Impetuous Prince. I believe you went on a raid with him. Um, uh, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. Colonel Favors. He has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right, but for me... I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men. I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him. But my son is easily led. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, uh, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But, uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <coughs> and maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! Glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection. And healing. Bro, was that really the time to take a poop? News, Captain Monroe. Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in Saint Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Oh, sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. I'm sorry to be forward, but there's so much to be done. See? What's left of that bridge over there? I heard about it being destroyed. Do you know if that was also my son's doing? No, I'm pretty sure he had nothing to do with that one. Well, I fear they will find a way to blame it on us anyway. Anyway, gentlemen. I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. We'll continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. See the wolves over there feasting on that horse? Brutality and beauty are both all around us. Yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances. This is what I try to teach my son. Good. There was
was no need to harm them. We can talk if you want, Mr. Morgan. But don't feel like you have to. It's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. So... We don't know each other too well, but... I wanted to speak to you about your son. Are you okay, Mr. Morgan? Hmm? I was there on the raid to steal back those horses and, uh, well... You know something of Dutch, I think. Yes, a little. Mostly from your friend Charles. I don't know why Dutch is getting involved in your situation. And this ain't easy to say, but I just don't trust that he's got your son's best interests at heart. Let's go. We can rest when we get there. So what can we do? I don't rightly know. Charles and I just thought you should be aware. Maybe there's a way to stop things from getting any more out of control. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Let me give this some thought. Continue on. You know, I had a son once, years ago. Don't talk about him much. No, what was his name? Isaac. His mother, Eliza, the waitress I met. When she got pregnant, she knew who I was, what my life was. I didn't want to promise nothing I couldn't keep, but I said I'd do right by them. Every few months, I'd stop by there for a few days. He was such a good kid. She was too, I guess. <laughs> Just a kid, 19. What happened? I got there one day and saw two crosses outside. I knew right away. Turned out some bastards had come through. Robbed him. Shot him dead. And offered ten dollars. Hardened me. Feeling that kind of pain. But I know now that you don't get to live a bad life and have good things happen to you. I think you're being hard on yourself. Maybe. All I can do now is try and make some things right. Wait, Damn. stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. Are we making Red Bull? This will combine well. Saddlebag. Pass these together. It tastes awful. But it'll help to keep your strength up. All right, let's go. It's not much. 
much further now. I appreciate the herbs, but I think it's gonna take more than that. I saw a doctor and he says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. Wait! Where are you going? This situation we're in. Me, Dutch, and the others. I don't know how long I got, but some of them, they still got a chance to have a life. I'm just thinking, if I could give them that, then maybe this ain't all for nothing. I think there is much you can still do, Mr. Morgan. Chinupa. Who, who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around, please. The Chinupa is gone. Of course. What is it? A uh, ceremonial pipe. There must be some clue as to what happened here. Sure looks like they was doing some drinking. I see no end to any of this. There's a fire right there. That's a whole town there. Range fall, over here. Think I see an army camp. Is that what that is? There they are. These brave men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But... But I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. Taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. Now they've taken the last hope. Well, they're going to want a war. A war they can't win. Not if I get it back. your things I, I think yes thank you I'm very sorry about this even sacred things are only things people the heart matter more was anyone hurt yes it's a bad business I should not have let you do this for me but perhaps it will stop a bigger massacre but these Maybe I can calm my people. Maybe I can calm my son. I hope so. Thank
Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. so long ago I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. And I would love to help him. Or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. Have to be like that, man. Hello, here I am as promised. Captain Monroe, of course. The chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. I thought we were through with all this. Well, we are mostly. Colonel Favor seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made. And apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? To be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out. And he knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. Supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. M Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. Okay. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. So, this Colonel Fate, he knows you're up here helping these people? Yes, and no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. Can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. Rod has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. <laughs> we really cannot afford more conflict. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Fall and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the back seat. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know... Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. All right, this is the spot I was thinking of. 
Let's cut up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here. Come on! Okay, let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. Can I grab my weapon? So, guess not. Mr. Morgan, please. <laughs> I want to show you which way we'll. The wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case. Can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. Just remember to keep it clean. Understand me? Don't worry. I'm as clean as they come. Now, all I do is clean. Well. Good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise. Can you survive that, huh? That's a little too easy. Something tells me something's gonna go wrong. Captain Monroe, I got the medicine. Ah, oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It uh, it didn't go too bad. I'll take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <coughs> yeah, well, <coughs> I think I'm a little past care about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. Come on. Alright, I think I'll uh, end it here.